general overview of order processing and manufacturing of liquid medicine in a pharmaceutical manufacturing company. Here is a topic that is easy to swallow. How do pharmaceutical companies make the drugs we take? It is a carefully monitored process where traceability and quality control is paramount. We will take you through the manufacturing process of alternative pharmaceutical medicines. But remember what they say, it is for all those things that can be cured and endured, even an MBA course. A sales order is placed by a customer through the key accounts department, which then is entered into the material requirement planning system. An MRP system is a production planning and inventory control system used to manage manufacturing processes. An MRP system intends to meet three objectives simultaneously. Firstly, to ensure materials are available for production. Secondly, to maintain the lowest possible material and product levels to minimize holding costs. And thirdly, to plan manufacturing activities, delivery schedules and purchasing activities in the most efficient way. Liquid medicine mainly comprises of bulking agents and active ingredients. Bulking agents are kept on premises while the required outstanding active ingredients will be ordered by the procurement officer in the form of a purchase order. The purchase order is generated by the MRP system and the quantities are calculated by the software, but the procurement officer will decide on the optimal quantity in order to achieve the best economies of scale. When the procurement officer places the order from the supplier, he will be notified of the estimated time of delivery of the goods. This is where the judgment through the purchasing experience is made to alter the delivery dates on the MRP system. Once the raw materials estimated time of arrivals are known, a production scheduling meeting is held between the key accounts, production and procurement management so that a production schedule can be made for the specific order. Changes in lead times for deliveries should be updated and managed for optimal planning. There are various channels through which the logistics can take place. It can be transported by air, ship, rail or road. In all cases, careful planning needs to be done to ensure compliant transport for specific goods, as some of the materials fall in the dangerous goods category. The moment the raw materials enter the raw material warehouse, the company needs to comply with numerous standard operating procedures. A thorough check is done on product description, quantities and verified with the delivery note. The raw materials are then coded through a barcode system and placed in storage locations known as bins. Bins are not a physical holding capacity, but rather a storage space allocation. Raw materials are captured in the MRP system under specific product codes. These product codes have both a numerical and alphanumerical characters. The alphanumerical characters at the start of the code represent the product type, while the numerical value represents the product description. Once the raw materials are received and barcoded, it will go through a quality check by the Quality Assurance Department. Stock will be held in quarantine and only after each material has been identified by Fourier Transform Infrared Spectrometer, it can be released and continued with the production process. Subsequently, the MRP will generate a picking slip. The picking slip will be calculated per the order requirements of the purchase order and will be adjusted for waste and variance. The picking slip needs to be signed off by the responsible production pharmacist and only then it can be picked by the warehouse personnel. Certain materials need to be picked in a sterile pressurized room. These ingredients are known as API. These ingredients are vulnerable to being contaminated by bacteria and will undergo microwave sterilization or eradication in order to decrease the bacteria count. Dry raw materials picked will be transported in a steel cage from the raw material warehouse to the manufacturing area through a goods lock. Goods locks are decontamination chambers between two sealed areas. Personnel have their own locks to go from one area to the next. This is done to ensure the high hygienic standards and limit cross-contamination. The entire building is regulated with different qualities of air. This is managed by a heating, ventilation and air conditioning system. The raw materials will be transported to the blending room. There is high and low shear blenders and raw materials are blended to the required specifications of the medicine made. It is during this blending process that the liquid bulking agents are added. 
From there it will go to a pre-staging storage area inside the facility. Samples will be taken to do both quality and bacteria testing before it can be released for bottling. After the liquid batches have been signed off by the quality control department, it is ready for filling. The blended product will be stored in either the tank farm that consists of 6x8000 litre fixed tanks or when smaller batches are made, 1000 litre intermediate bulk containers will be used. These IBCs get transported via goods lift to the upper mezzanine level to the filling lines. For larger orders, the liquid product will be directly pumped to the filling lines from the tank farm. The liquid filling lines are in a U-shaped production layout. The U-shape offers great flexibility on an assembly style line. One of the advantages is that it offers a one-way in and a one-way out production line. The production line consists of a filler and capper machine which is enclosed in a pressurized lock to prevent any cross-contamination. This room is again a sterile environment to comply with regulations. After the product is bottled and capped, it will enter the labeling machine. Labeled bottles are packed by hand into unit cartons. Each carton passes an inkjet printer to be batched and manufactured date coded. From there, it will proceed to the shrink wrapper and packed in accordance to customer specifications. After the products are packed in the shipper cartons, it will be transported to the quality control pre-storage area where both the quality control manager and the responsible pharmacist need to inspect the medicine before signing it off. The order processing and manufacturing comes to an end as the final packed products will be stored in the finished goods store. This store is both temperature and humidity controlled to assure the best quality and a longer shelf life. The final packed product will now be updated on the MRP system. Through doing this, the customer can be correctly invoiced and wastages can be accounted for. This video's objective was to formulate a general overview of order processing and manufacturing of liquid medicine in a pharmaceutical manufacturing company. This production was brought to you by Group 2 Full-Time Students, 2013, University of Stellenbosch Business School.